Hello, everybody. Um, I just wanted to go over a couple of quick formatting things that I think just need to be communicated clearly. So um, whenever you're uploading slides and sharing slides with us, we like to um, make sure that everything is high quality and uh, make sure that everything looks really, really good. So that's why we have y'all send it through the upload form, just so that we um, can generate a copy uh, to put into our folders and also so that it's easier for us to make any updates or edits that we need to. So um, I, I went ahead and just opened up this um, auto copy template link slideshow. It is located in the templates folder in Google Slides. So I'm on this um, slideshow and I'm going to go ahead and click this link right here and it's going to auto copy our template for our lesson slides. Um, so you just click make a copy and it will make a copy for you. It automatically puts it in your your drive. So just a couple of quick things. I mainly want to talk about graphics really quick because some of the uploads I've been kind of just scrolling through and looking at, um, the graphics are needing to, a lot of the times needing to be replaced or um, resized. Um, and so I just want to show you all some quick tips. All right. So first thing that you want to do always is to change the um, title of your light of your slideshow. So I'm just going to hop over here and show you all how I do it. I have my teacher portal pulled up. I'm going to drag. If you are a member of the collaborative lesson bank, this should be old hat for you. So I'm hitting control C. I'm going over here to my copy. I don't want it to say copy of and I'm going to backspace and paste. Um, you can leave it just like this if you want. I, Before we transfer to the, the big folders, I always make sure that it looks a little bit uniform here. You do not need to add your name in because the form that you upload uh, through, it will automatically do that. And then another quick thing I do is I just control C, I copy that again. I hop over here, double click, and I paste it there. Very simple. So then I will delete this slide. That's what it says to do. Delete this slide when done. Okay, so um, hopefully you're able to go over this. I'm not going to go too much in detail, but I do want to talk about um, just graphics in general because that's what takes most of our time whenever we are screening the uploaded slides and transferring to the shared folders. We want to make sure everything looks great and amazing and something you'd want to use in your classroom. So. Um, I'm going to hop over to Google Images. Um, that's what I use oftentimes. Uh, disclaimer, I really don't look uh, or consider copyright. Um, <laughs> or if it's in the public domain, I know that that's probably a no-no, but um, I really don't uh, oftentimes. If I am able to have a little extra time, I will go over to like Pexels or something that's like um, a website for free public domain. So I... I am going to, <laughs> let's just say I want to look up something like a concept like expanded form, right? For, um, that's in many levels, but you know, uh, my lesson goes over expanded form. I want a really good example. Okay. So here are some, and uh, guys, if you ever want to pull up more stuff, you could also do like expanded form poster, um, expanded form uh, yeah, definition, um, and this just pulls up more specifically what you need, but I liked, I, I just saw one I liked, so, all right, so, um, I think this looks really cool, I like this, and I'm hovering over the image, and if you notice, it will show you the size of the image, right, and I'm doing this from my desktop, so it's a little bit more, um, detailed, and if you were doing it from your phone, so right-click, if I just right click and copy the image as it is, I just want to show you all what happens. I'm going to right click this thumbnail and I'm going to click copy image. So if I hop over here um, and let's say I really, maybe, I, yeah, let's, let's put the title here, expanded form. Okay. Uh, and if it's not capitalized in the lesson, guys, don't, I wouldn't capitalize it in, in the Google Slides. So I'm hitting control V to paste, right? So now what I want to do is like move it around and center it. Okay. Make it look really good. You can even add a little border over here. Um, if it's not something you want to do full screen. Okay. So just to show y'all and watch, it's probably not going to do it now that I'm 
<laughs> recording this, but okay. So if I resize this and I want to, let's say I want to make it full screen, right? Okay. So if you were on your phone, you may not catch this, but this is extremely pixelated on, on uh, my computer screen here. So the problem when you paste images from Google or from any other image site, uh, you want to always enlarge the image, okay? And once you enlarge it, you'll be able to see, okay, well, this, this looks pretty clear, okay? Um, and that's when you would want to copy the image. And then you can paste it. And it will paste it bigger. And it's not going to be as pixelated looking. See? Okay. Um, and uh, another quick tip. You can always just click, um, click uh, center on page. I use this all the time. I wish there was a keyboard shortcut. Okay. And that way you don't have to figure out or look for those red lines. Um, so just some, some other examples here, stuff like this, maybe that's a lot of words. We got to remember guys, they are learning English. They do not, um, they're not like super fluent yet. Um, so we don't want to overwhelm them. Here's another good example. Do y'all see this right here? This is, um, 236 by 177. Um, that's really small. That's a very small image. So if I copy just the thumbnail of that already small image and I paste it here, and I want to make it bigger, it's going to be way pixelated. So guys, uh, I guess what I'm just trying to communicate here is just when you're picking out pictures, make sure that, um, you know, you're not using um, something that is super pixelated. I'm just going to hop back over here because I, I go over this in the, in the template, but include examples of introduced concepts, give credit to anything borrowed from another resource group, follow the same VIP kid um, PowerPoint order. Um, don't screenshot the, the VIP kid PowerPoints. And here's what I really just want to hit on. Use high quality, appropriate graphics. Um, you know, don't, don't just, um, you know, copy the thumbnail and paste because it's going to result in a very poor graphic. Um, and another thing is just making sure that your um, graphics are appropriate for your level like think about it if it was a level six yeah definitely go for something a little more detailed but these level one two and three um you know you want to keep it basic you want to make it visual that is the point of google slides they are props for you to use um especially when it comes to the the lesson slides all right guys i hope i don't sound too preachy have a great saturday afternoon